Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawi. Today, we're going to talk about a Ghanaian player who has made history in Egypt. He has become the first ever Ghanaian foreign-based player to reach 100 goals in Egyptian football. We're going to talk about him and why or whether he has ever played for the Ghana Black Stars before. I'll revealing all that to you today. Kumasi Asante Kotoko have confirmed to the GFA uh, that they will take part in the upcoming CAF Champions League. That's in November. CAF revealed the calendar for the Champions League and Kumasi Asante Kotoko have uh, obliged that uh, they have accepted the invitation uh, that GFA wrote to them that they would be playing in the competition. They have accepted it and say they will be participating in the CAF Champions League in November. Quite interesting what to look forward to then. And Stone Boy, in case you're a music lover, dance hall artist Stone Boy says he's open to owning a football club in the future. As usual, if you're new, subscribe, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So I'll just jump right into it and I'll start off from the camp of John Aintree. A prolific goal scorer in Egypt. Uh, he started here at the youth level from Dreams FC. Uh, played 11 wise he played for them as well and now he has made history becoming the first ever foreign based player in egypt to net 100 goals quite an amazing feat by the Ghanaian. now the Ghanaian has played for the ghana black stars before in case you're wondering but surprisingly in a lead up to the afcon 2019 he did not make the cut uh, for Coach Chris APS final 23 that made it eventually to the tournament. You would think that a player who has so many goals uh, for Egyptian club um, in his past then also was with the Egyptian league and was a pro known as a prolific goal scorer would end a call up into the Black Stars. But I think uh, at that time uh, the names that were called up were based not so much on merit because John Entry should have been in there but maybe reputation. Now, the Ghanaian attacker, John Entry, became the first foreign player to net 100 goals in the Egyptian Premier League history uh, yesterday, Sunday. Now, he achieved that feat after scoring the consolation uh, for Pyramids FC when they lost 2-1 uh, to El Gounoua FC. Now, the 28-year-old has clinched a historic record play for four clubs in the Egyptian top flight. Now, Entry became the highest scoring foreigner of the Egyptian league last term after netting 63 goals to surpass compatriot Ernest Papa Ako. He started his career, youth career, with Dreams FC here in Ghana and also made it to, and he scored 35 goals whilst playing for Ismaili SC in his first time in Egypt uh, from 2012 to 2015. He also netted 11 goals for Giants Alali between 2017 and 2018. Now, Entry Feather scored 40 goals for Mezer El Masca from 2017 to July 2019. But unfortunately, he was not in the Ghana Black Star squad that went to the African Cup of Nations. It's quite unfortunate that he could not make that cut for the African Cup of Nations. But it is what it is, and he is making history. Hopefully, Siki Akono. I know we'll be watching and he will get this young man, a 28 year old who made his debut for the Ghana Black Stars in 2017, we're playing a friendly with Saudi Arabia coach Kusia Pia called him up in preparation for the World Cup qualifier at the time. Now entry scored 40 goals, he left Mesr El Makassa and joined Moneybags Pyramids FC. At Pyramids, the attacker has scored 14 goals since joining them. Such an amazing young man and it's quite surprising that he hasn't been able to make the cut for the Ghana Black Stars. It's surprising that he hasn't been able to make it in there. And I'm hoping a coach like Siki Akono will be watching him closely and will give him the chance he ultimately deserves. He made his debut in 2017 and under coach Kwesia Pia. Since then, we've heard very little of him in terms of the national team food. But we are hoping that this historic feat is that he has made 100 goals. That is no mean feat. That is amazing.
club and I, I think he deserves that Black Stars call up if she should keep up this format that is uh, the Black Stars player should be called based on merit and not uh, based on reputation if we want the best uh, to represent the country that is so let me know your thoughts in the comments box on Johnny Injury's amazing feat with a Pyramids FC. That consolation goal meant 100 goals for this young man. 28-year-old John Injury, hopefully in the next Black Stars call-up, that will be in November, he will get a, a, a shout from coach CK Akono. Talking about November, that is when also the interclub competition by CAF will be resuming and CAF recently brought out the calendar for that. The GFA subsequently wrote a letter to Kumasi Asante Kotoko informing them about uh, their participation in the competition along with Ashanti Gold who will be taking part in the Confederations Cup as it was last year uh, in which both teams unfortunately could not make it to the group stages. Uh, Kotoko were knocked out by 12 de Sahel and also Ashanti Gold not knocked out by Aris Barkeni. It was a great time to follow these clubs but Many concerns are that because of the lack of preparation, because of the lack of um, warm-up games, because of the lack of football in the country, uh, the, the teams might not be equipped to compete, at least on an even playing field, uh, with the other teams who, from other African countries who have been able to complete their leagues for one and also play competitive football also for another. It will be interesting to see how Kumasi has had to go to go play out this one but they have accepted the invitation GFA wrote to both clubs Ashanti Gold have not heard from their front but I would think that they would be affirmative in the response that they will give to the GFA and we'll see how the preparations will go November football is coming all over Africa there'll be fights for the AFCON 2022 shipped there from 2021 there'll be also qualifiers for and there'll also be preliminary stages of the CAF Interclub competitions as well. I'm looking forward to this one. You know this channel will bring you the best of that. So my final story has to do with dancehall artist The Stone Boy. He has expressed interest in possibly owning a football club. He is open to the idea and it's quite interesting to see what he has to say about the Nagana dancehall artist Stone Boy says his only brother is training as a footballer and Stoneboy himself was a keen player before music claimed him. Now Stoneboy said that he is open to the idea of owning a football club. It's possible. Who knows? Let's see how God works. Because once the thing that gives back to the people and creates employment and makes people's dreams come true, I'm all down for it. It's possible. Who knows? Let's see what happens. It will be quite interesting to see Stone Boy owning a football club, but he is, he says he's open uh, to the idea of it and it will be interesting to see how far he'll be able to go with that statement he just made, open to owning a football club. Let me know what you think in the comments box about this. So that has been it for today, but before I go, those who wanted me to claim a uh, create a fantasy football league, I have done just uh, that. Uh, the code is NLM. RZL and LMRZL. You can download the fantasy football app and you can join our league with that code. I'll leave the code in the comments box also as well. The first comment that will be pinned will be the code. You can join and let's have fun in fantasy football. Let's see how the season will go. We'll be also talking more about english premier league football this season the predictions for the season will be coming up on the channel pretty soon this week i'll have them all up i'm, I'm assembling my guys uh, to have a fruitful discussion on football in and around the world it'll be quite interesting stick and stay with the channel stone boy is open to owning a football club kumasi asante kotoko have accepted invitation by gfa to take part in the CAF champions league and john entry making amazing strides in egypt the first foreign player uh, to score 100 goals in the Egyptian league. We hope he gets a call up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out our other videos on this playlist. Enjoy your day.